Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is a beer tasting and it's a new to me beer, a new to me brewery to be honest. It's a Polish beer which I picked up in the, the town uh, in a Polish shop. Uh, this was £2.69 for a 500ml bottle. Um, apparently it's a honey beer and the brewery, oh well I've got it on the on the laptop here because it's probably going to help me out a little bit. Um, the brewery is a Staro Polski. And this is a old Polish Miodni 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 founded mill honey beer. Um, what does it say about it? Um, it just says honey beer, light, pasteurized, brewed with open method of fermentation, considered by the Kult Kultawi Brawa Staropolski, which is obviously the brewery. Um, it does tell you the ingredients there, but let's crack it open. Let's see. So it's a honey beer, it comes in at 4.7%. Looking forward to it because it's something totally different for me. Um, it's brewed, well, brewed like a lager, so it's, it's bottom fermented. It's looking like a lovely colour. I'm going to pour a pour in a little bit into this one for Mrs B to join me in tasting this one. So yeah, the, the colour is a straw light golden colour, clear, nice, soft rolling carbonation and it's got a lovely firm white head on there which looks superb. I apologise for that's a notification on my phone. Uh, so it's looking absolutely superb, clarity is looking great, it does look like a lager but it looks yeah like a, a lager hybrid, uh, a bit of a golden ale. So let's get the aroma. <clears throat> what can I get on the aroma there? A little bit of sweetness. A little bit of sweetness. I suppose that's coming from the malts. Not getting much in the aroma of the hops. Maybe a slight grassy note. Yeah, I think it's got, a, must have a noble hop in there. Maybe a little bit earthy, a little bit grassy. It smells quite nice. It really does. It smells like it's going to be malty. That's the, the thing I'm getting off that. Let's have a taste. Okay, that is malty. That is definitely sweet. You're definitely getting that honey. That is, uh, that's, 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 I'll tell you what, that's not bad. It may be a little oversweet. I don't think you can drink more than one in a session. I think it's nice. I think that would go nice as a bit like a dessert beer. Maybe at the end of a meal or something, just to finish off a meal rather than having um, a dessert. Maybe a glass of that because it's coming across really really quite sweet so it's definitely not a session beer it's not something i drink more than one of i'd probably you know it's one of them beers i'd probably buy with the intention of only having it as a, a dessert beer so yeah so it, 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 it's nice but it does take you you do it does take you, you go wow you know that is uh, very very sweet so must be quite a lot of honey in there so if you can imagine it's like a a well, the best way for me to try and describe it is like a a real, it's a multi lager, but with a real, real sweetness coming through. 4.7%, uh, it seems to taste a little bit stronger than 47 as well. That's the other thing I've noticed there. Um, but yeah, when I score, I do the, the B system. Uh, what I'd say about that one, I don't, I don't think it's, the, you know, it's something that, like I say, I wouldn't session, wouldn't drink a, a lot of. So I'll, I'll, give, I'll, give it the, uh, I'll give it the two beers, you know. After sitting down, and carrying on with this drink, um, it became unpalatable. So I have to say that this is now, uh, it's got a sting in the tail. I've had to knock it down a marker. Uh, I give this one B. I might say two Bs a little bit on in this video, but it's a one B. It's a honey beer as well. It's definitely uh, two, 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 two Bs, sorry. Two B score, two out of three. No, I'm sticking to my guns. It's definitely a sting in the tail, one B. Um, so what I say is, it, you know, it's got it's got me buzzing. 
it'll get you buzzing, but I think you'd only want to drink one of them. What 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 do you get from that? What what are you what do you reckon to that one? It feels a bit syrupy. It is really sweet, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. No, and it, 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 would you agree it's like a one-off and you'd have it after the end of a meal or something? Because I don't think it's so, you wouldn't go in a pub and session drink now. Mm, yeah, yeah. It's just overly sweet. But it is. it, is, it, it, it feels like a well-made beer. Um, but that honey is quite powerful. Um, so yeah, let me just read what ingredients we've got in there. So, honey beer, uh, water, pills and malt. Pills and the malt, hops, Magnum Halatau tradition, yeah, like the noble, noble hops. Um, so yeah, where you're getting a bit of that earthiness from as well. Um, maybe if it had a bit more hops, it might neutral that sweetness. Uh, natural honey, 60 grams per litre, and it's bottom fermented with the uh, like yeast, which is like a lager. Um, it says here it's a the Staropolsky Mayodine, Mayodine, I don't know if I'm saying that, and I apologise if I'm saying this wrong. Mayo, Mayo Dinni is a beer with a unique taste. Definitely, that's true. Brewed with a double dose of natural bee honey. There you go, there's a bit of the bee honey. Uh, a combination of a knowledge of old Polish brewers and mead makers. Ah, okay. And alcohol's 4.7%. So yeah, I'll stick with that. Two bees out of the three. No, I'm not sticking with that. I'm definitely stuck on one bee, stinging the tail. Um, it's amazing that when you sit down with some of these beers, um, you do change your mind, and this one definitely swayed me backwards. Bees, um, I would have it again, but I'd have it on an occasion where I think I want to have that after a meal. Um, I wouldn't think I want to sit down on a Friday night and, and session drink that. So, there you go. Okay, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.